Hello my soccer universe. What a round in Spain that was. But I, let me first address one thing. I have watched La Liga and if you look at the statistics, La Liga is not known for goal scoring. And I think with this restart, the teams get so slowly going that I really, there are not many goals. The action is actually not all that great as of the moment. But at least there is some excitement due to the standings. But I made myself a promise, and we'll talk about that, that I'm not gonna watch Barcelona at 10 in the evening anymore. It's just not worth it. Let's go straight into uh, La Liga, where it started out with Villarreal beating Granada 1-0 and Mallorca Leganes, um, kind of bottom feeder <laughs> duel, uh, playing out a 1-1, one -one, which will not help either one of them. As I said, I watched Sevilla against Barcelona and for the first 30 minutes or so, I think Barcelona showed some urgency and wanted to attack. The, and there was not really much from Sevilla, but I was missing the big chances in, in a way. And in the second half, Sevilla makes some slight adjustments and Barcelona cannot react to that. And I don't know when I heard that the, la the last time that a Barcelona team, well, it has been a series that, but the Barcelona team cannot react to uh, simple changes. And then it was all pass, pass here, pass there, pass there. A boring, 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 boring. Uh, was not a good game. Barcelona does not look good, uh, I have to say. And yeah, Sevilla also is not all that convincing given the, st uh, the standings. Um, Levante puts Espanyol in big trouble, uh, winning 3-1 away from home. Um, that was a game that you think Espanyol should actually win, given that they are uh, given the way they are and the way they actually started quite well. But with Leganes uh, winning and now that, <laughs> uh, it might be a long way to go. Bilbao took actually an early lead uh, through Martinez and uh, seemed well on the, on the way. But again, from what I saw, the game was not very exciting, but there came an exciting one because Betis got a penalty. Lay, lay, dealing game that was then horribly mistaken uh, mis by Canales uh, way over the goal. This would have been easily 1-1. Uh, Probably bet this uh, draw would have been uh, all right there. Getafe also cannot really get something going and plays only 1-1 against Eibar and I'm wearing Atletico. Dirty win, dirty, dirty, dirty win. After um, piling up on Osasuna uh, during the week, suddenly uh, it was a whole more lab labored, but we told in the 81st gives Atletico the breakthrough. There were some chances at the beginning, then again a lot of nothing, and then the breakthrough comes. However, having complained about uh, La Liga games not, not being all that, that exciting, Celta Vigo against Alaves, definitely, uh, lived, lived up to, to the goal scoring. What's wrong with Alaves? I mean, they just beat um, Real Sociedad and now they are completely steamrolled by Celta. Murillo and Aspas make it 2-0 um, when um, Aguirre, <laughs> Aguirre Gabiria, we had him <laughs> last week, uh, gets sent off with a straight red, fully, fully deserved. And then Rafinha scores two more uh, within a minute uh, to make it 4-0 at the half. That's a helicopter, I don't know if you hear it. I hope it doesn't make too much sound. Um, absolutely, absolute domination, well deserved that result. And then in the second half, yeah, it goes a little bit easier, but uh, Celta still adds two to through Nolito, another penalty, and Santimina, uh, which is a huge result for Vigo. Um, pushing them up a little bit. A uh, good result also for Valencia, uh, who really needed um, a result uh, after losing, losing Real Madrid and also having not such a great start. Uh, Gedesh with an absolutely crazy goal. I mean, this was kind of steamrolling himself through the defenders. He is making, uh, trying to get through. He's almost tripping, getting himself up again. And scores then a really nice goal. 
uh, goal by Rodrigo Moreno has been ruled out for offside. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about VAR in a bit more. And then Rodrigo Moreno makes it 2-0 in the third, 35th, and that actually ends the game. Um, there were some more chances, but um, it stays more or less that way. And then the big scandal. Due to the draw of Barcelona, Real Madrid with a win had the chance to take uh, top of the table again. Um, and uh, first half was, I did not see it, but for a while the like, first half was so and so. Typically Spain 10 o'clock game, I have to say. Uh, from what I hear at least. And yeah, not many chances, the few here, few there. In the second half, uh, Real Madrid comes out a little bit more convincing and get a penalty because I think it was, um, what's the young guy's name? Uh, Vinicius Drew Jr. who kind of fell in the box. I have to say a very soft penalty. A very soft penalty uh, that I think there's an uh, argument to be made that it could be over, over overturned. However, it was not in that case, you know. Madrid bias a little bit. Sergio Ramos converts, uh, I think, the 18th in a row or something like that. Um, then, right on the other side, Real Sociedad gets the equalizer. Uh, but the goal is disallowed. Oh, that was a wonderful goal. It's disallowed because there was a defender kind of standing in the field of view of the goalkeeper. To me, very. <laughs> it, there's quite some distance there. So I am not. Yes, he's offside, but I'm not sure if he's not participating in the game, and I don't think he really uh, affected uh, Courtois that much. So I'm not liking that call either. And then the mother of all uh, scan scans call. Karim Benzema scores a goal, but um, he touches the ball right here. And we have new rules for now. Below the sleeve line, uh, it will be handball, above not. So under new rules, clear, it's uh, not a handball. However, we have it, and I think even uh, in a different game, uh, I want to say in Italy, or whatever, uh, but, but you know, it's not consistent. Some people call it, is it here, is it here? And if Benzema says, I touched it here, I touched, I touched it here, this is the arm. This is the arm under the rules. So, <clears throat> I probably can live with it, but given already the soft penalty, the disallowed goal, this was just a step too much to me. But he makes it 2 to nil, and uh, Merino can only pull one back, and the Real Madrid gets the win under very, very, very contentious circumstances. And with that, the table after that, so yesterday morning or uh, in, in, in the evening, was saw Real Madrid go top on top of Barcelona and also Atletico Madrid, and that's why I'm wearing Atletico. First of all, I want to get a little bit um, a change in there, uh, not always where Barcelona and Real, and Real Madrid, and also Atletico Madrid had, had a good week, although not a good game on the weekend. But Atletico Madrid also jumps 9-3rd nine, nine and looks much more familiar, uh, standing stand out with Sevilla hanging on there. Uh, Getafe and Real Sociedad cling on to the Euro European spots, but that's a dogfight because Valencia, I think, is in there. I think with Athletic Club we can stop the discussion about Europe. And if I look uh, down, it is still a dogfight. I mean, the 24 points by Espanyol, who are now again in last place, is quite the points tally. Um, and Eibar and Vigo are not that far off, although they have now a little bit of a cushion, especially Vigo with that win really liberated themselves a little bit. However, um, it just takes a loss, a win by Mallorca, and we're all back into trouble. But since I'm recording this Tuesday morning, I should get in. I have not seen the, uh, the highlights or anything like that. We had two results already of the next round, round 31, with Sevilla beating Villarreal 2-2. So Sevilla goes up again and Leganes uh, also 0-0 at Granada, which allows Granada to jump ahead of Bilbao, but it's an uneven table, so I'm not going to even present that. In the Segunda, uh, I was not about to do it, but we had actually quite some interesting results, so I quickly uh, threw them in. Most importantly, Real Saragossa losing at home to Almeria, which we will see will make the table for the last promotion spot quite tight. Also, Cadiz is not gay, I mean, Alcrothon is uh, playing only a draw. 
And the Rayo uh, La Coruña play out the game of the week in a 3-3 draw. Uh, has, that must have been an exciting game. I hope. <laughs> Elche gets a win over Girona is also uh, in, in interesting for that. And then I think this is the Asturian derby. I'm not 100%, but I think Gijon, uh, Oviedo and Oviedo gets a very important win uh, that will see them rise in the table. Um, now Cadiz is still uh, on top. Real Zaragoza also still in second place, but Almeria got within two points. So if you see the promotion chances, they dropped actually for Zaragoza uh, a little bit. Uh, Uesca is in there, Elche is in there, um, then Girona, Vallecano and so on. You know, Elche, Girona, Vallecano, Mirandes, maybe Ponferradino for this last promotion spot. And again, you see lots of changes and on the bottom we have La Coruña hanging on to this last uh, uh, spot of safety. Oviedo making a huge jump out of that zone. Okay, let's go to Portugal where I owe you the Friday results, um, which didn't see a win in either of them. Guimarães and Braga continue their rather so-and-so start. Braga only managing a draw at Family Cow, which was a top duel to be honest. But with that, Sporting now really takes over and is ahead of Braga. And again, it also looks familiar. Benfica is on top. Uh, they took um, advantage of the slip up by Porto. But you know, it can happen quickly uh, anytime. And there have already also been games um, played uh, on Monday evening for the next round. Uh, even on Sunday, Gil Vicente beating Aves 3 0, had no real. Impact on the table in Porto Malense, 3-2 over Maritimo. That ends my Iberian roundup. Uh, let, let me know what you thought about all these games. I might, I have to see how, how, will, how do, if I'll do the next ra roundup uh, on Friday or if I wait for the weekend to get like a whole round, round in. I need to limit a little bit the um, amount of time I'm spending on making videos because it's a lot of work and I want to actually do maybe some other things too uh, or other videos. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe that. I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.